sports can teach you perseverance more than anything. It teaches you to perhaps not have the best performance that you might, get up the next day and go back, work hard and perform again. And so sports has been really very much central to my life. And as I've gone through life, I've also become impressed with and understood more the power of sports to overcome differences of ethnicity, differences of nationality, uh, differences in politics. Every human endeavor needs a kind of myth. Every human endeavor needs a way to look at the world not as it is but as it should be. And sports is often a way for us to see the world as it should be, not as it is, as we see athletes from countries where their leaders would not even speak, competing against one another and having an opportunity, indeed, to get to know each other in these great international uh, arenas. Sport has this wonderful ability to bridge. And it's in that regard that I want to uh, thank this organization for what you do for the security of sport. Physical securing of sport is difficult because it makes us cross public private boundaries in ways that we have not had to before. We need the cooperation of governments, but we also need the cooperation of the private sector. And an organization like this that can bring together government officials and private sector to understand better how to make that partnership work is absolutely key. I remember when President Bush was asked, uh, because we were having some issues with China around human rights, are you going to Beijing? And he, uh, there was some, many leaders around the world were asked this, and several leaders were, they were saying, well, you know, maybe, maybe I won't go to the opening ceremony. President Bush said, I'm going. This is about sport. The image of sport, when something uh, big like this happens, uh, obviously it's, it's a real problem. And, and look, it's not just FIFA. The IOC had its problems uh, a few years ago. The, the NFL has had problems of a different kind. Sport is in the spotlight. And remembering that you're in the spotlight uh, is important to making sure that you're even more careful about your practices. I think sports can help societies heal. They can help um, people heal after a terrible event like 9-11. I think our sports were very important to us um, after that. Um, indeed, uh, there, the NFL got a lot of criticism in 1963 when President Kennedy was assassinated on a Friday and the NFL played on Sunday. And uh, the, the great commissioner, Pete Rozelle, said it's the one decision he would have done something differently. He would not have played that Sunday. Yeah. But I can pretty much guarantee you he would have played the following Sunday because Americans need it to, to feel normal again. And what you don't want to do with terrorists is to give them the satisfaction that they have disrupted your way of life because ultimately that's what terrorism is intended to do. It's to say to people, you're not allowed to feel normal. You're to feel fear. Every moment of your life, you're to feel fear. And sports is a statement in a sense that we're not fearful to go into an arena. We're not fearful to go into a stadium. And uh, I think it's extremely important. Thank you for this great organization. I wish you luck in the rest of your uh, endeavors here.